Hi, I'm Sister Miriam James, and welcome to the second week of Advent. Have you ever had somebody make you a promise that it took a while to fulfill? This week we find Mary visiting Elizabeth, and Elizabeth speaks a beautiful word over Mary, and she says to her, Blessed are you who believed. Blessed are you who believed that God would fulfill his promises. And I think waiting evokes something within us. It evokes wrestling, it evokes surrender, it evokes suffering, and wrestling and suffering and struggle and wait can be really hard for us. And what we learn about Mary is that as she waits, as her womb expands and as her heart expands, we find that in her waiting, she's turning toward God. She's leaning into God, she's not grasping, but she's opening her heart to receive Him. I thought for a long time that when I wrestled and when I struggled and when I looked into my heart and I saw all these things that still needed healing, that still needed improvement, I thought that was the problem and so I would oftentimes try to hide my wrestling. But what I find is that the more I'm honest with God and I bring my wrestling and my suffering and my struggle to Him, what happens is that as I engage Him where He's already waiting for me, that wrestling and that leaning into Him and allowing Him to fulfill what He's promised for me actually makes me stronger. The waiting is a tremendous gift that when God gives it to us, we can allow it to, to open our hearts wide open. I think for me, one of the deepest lessons I've ever learned about waiting was when my father was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And we were waiting for the chemo to heal him. We were waiting for a miraculous healing. And there was a lot of struggle during that time. And there was a lot of suffering. And, and all of us, I think, wanted to grasp at, at healing of my father. But what happened was is that God did make a promise. He promised that he would heal my father, and he did. And what he did is he actually took my dad home to heaven to be with him. He took him home to be with him forever, for all eternity. Sometimes I think in life, healing our plans or our desires or our struggling doesn't work out quite the way we think it does. But when we bring our hearts to God, when we bring our struggles to God, our suffering to God, what we find is that He's a Father who always, always, always fulfills His promises and that He sees us, He knows us, and He loves us. So wherever you find yourself this week, I want you to know that this is not the end of your story, that God hears your heart, He hears your cry, and He's not afraid of what's within. So let's bring our hearts to Him, let's bring our struggles to Him, let's bring our wrestling to Him, and as we lean into Him, allow Him to speak the blessing over us, to fulfill what He's promised, the deepest desires of our hearts. So stay close to the journaling this week. Don't turn away, stay close to the journaling this week, and lean in. Let God love you and speak to the deepest desires of your hearts. Have a wonderful week. God bless you.